Hello again. Welcome to my channel. I'm Devin. Nice to meet you. So, thank you uh, very much to everybody who has subscribed to my channel. And everybody who is new, you are welcome also. Um, so, I'm tired of doing, you know, love relationship kind of uh, readings. So, I have decided to do about like spilling tea. I even have brought my tea also. So let's have fun, you know, let's have fun reading today. And so you can pause the video, you know, um, or you can check this um, cover photo on my video, you know, and pick one of those tea cans, you know, number one is this bus. Number two is this children, you know. Number three is this telephone. Okay, so you can stop and uh, focus and meditate on whatever can attract you more, and keep that in your mind. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with everybody, and especially it's a fun reading. So let's spill the tea on you let's check out what is the tea on you hi universe again <laughs> it's me <laughs> so let's um i'm the divine channeler of the universe i let the universe to speak through me so please universe please um provide us with the most accurate answers and um have fun with us with my people and let's say, um, show us what's the tea on my people choosing this tea can. What's the tea? King of Swords. Uh, you might be um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay. Um, I want to talk about another misconception, okay? So people usually talk about this guy like it's a bad guy <laughs> you know like he's cold he's i mean detached etc etc i mean you guys are describing this reverse version okay not this one um this person is intelligent and in real life, I know so many air signs who have feelings, who have cried over their, you know, heartbreak or for the person they loved. They do have emotions. Stop describing this person as an, you know, asshole or this cool detached person, okay? So, you have the lovers, Gemini energy again. Um, Ace of Wands. So let's see, it feels like you feel this uh, spiritual connection towards somebody. Uh, this person might be a fire, fire sun, uh, sign, <laughs> Aries Leo Sag. So let's clarify King of Swords, Four of Pentacles, okay, you are reversed. I mean, if you are not this person, like King of Sword, it might be this person feeling towards you, okay? So, yeah, yeah, this guy is in reverse position because he is keeping secrets, he does not open up, he does not communicate, Pisces energy, lots of like holding back. Why are you holding back? Oh, somebody feels regretful, okay? cries over spilled milk or spilled tea so let's see why four of pentacles is there oh queen of swords um again those guys are counterparts you know king of swords and queen of swords and you do feel, or this person feels like this deep spiritual connection, okay? 
The lovers is match made in heaven. The devil is match made in hell. Okay? Do not um, describe devil card as twin flame. You misguide people and give hopes. Okay? Don't do that. Let's see. It feels like you guys are mirroring in a way. Like this person is detached. You are detached. Like playing cool not talking and somebody feels regretful why a five of cups is here hmm. king of pentacles okay and ten of wands so um taurus virgo capricorn this m person might have uh, this in their charts and ten of wands again a uh, fire sign it feels like this person is feeling burdened by their responsibilities you know focused on work focused on themselves and to be honest i would rather to date this guy than this guy i don't like this king of pentacles no they can be very selfish you know, always um, thinking about what benefit they can have from people, from relationships. You know, I don't like this guy. And he likes to be chased. So, Ten of Pentacles. Some of you were married to this person. Or this person is already married to somebody that's why they feel burdened and this responsibility of being a provider uh, and lovers sometimes might be representing choice so what's the t the sun leo energy okay This person in general, I feel like, um, sees you as uh, their wish fulfillment, you know, ray of sunshine, this positive person. They do have positive thoughts about you, but somehow there is like this cold, you know, mirroring, no communication. Yeah, no communication. Because healing is um, required, needs to be done. Maybe for both of you, for one of you, yes, choice. Some of you are involved in third party. I mean, third party might be a person or, you know, anything might be this person's work. Judgment and Magician. This person wants new beginning though. This person wants to manifest new beginning with you. So, let's see. Okay. Mm. I am uh, channeling number 12. So, what's the T? What's the T universe? What's the T? What's the T on people choosing this T can universe? What's the T on people? Air guardian, shift your perception. Okay. So, what's the T? I'm hearing pride somehow, you know, being prideful, you know, take note of intuitive messages. This person might have Pisces in their charts. And I'm feeling like it's the matter of a cycle, cycles. Um, you know, journey, lessons, etc., etc. Spring, springtime might be significant, you know, might be a Taurus person. See your seeds grow. Yeah. 
this person or it might be even you wanting to manifest this new beginning planting seeds setting intention what are they setting intention towards uh, protection guardians drop your shields um, maybe it's this perception is about this you know releasing this um, guarding energy you know as you see and four of pentacles has come here yeah. it feels like if it's not you it's this person like needs to be dropping their shields stopping to be so defensive like releasing their guards what's the tea universe trader exchange energy to create abundance yeah this, this person wants to uh, wants this balanced union union you know with you but something is holding this person back medicine mother yes healing is necessary honor your inner knowing and i feel like somebody wasn't listening to their intuition and it was masculine figure in this uh, energy reading you know he didn't trust what he felt and it's time for this person to shift their perception you know there is you mm, 444 might be significant for you so let me ask let me ask what needs to be shifted universe what needs to be shifted winter take care of your needs maybe being too selfish needs to be changed you know released as i've told you before this person might be pretty selfish person okay always thinking about himself and nobody else so let's see any advice from the universe of people choosing this red tea can starseed what lights you up yes if you do have a soulmate i mean you are a starseed probably you know past life you know reincarnation etc and we do have here magician actually it's a message for you that you can manifest everything your heart desires any advice from the universe of people choosing this soul family soulmates I mean, if you thought that it was your counterpart somehow, whatever you label it, yes, it's true. There is a high possibility of this being your soulmate. You know, if you believe in so twin flame, I don't want to give hopes anybody. It's a general reading, okay? Don't take everything I say too close to your heart. So there is a definitely a connection, but healing is necessary here, okay? so i feel like the tea on you is that you need this uh, healing happening for you whatever healing uh, actually it's probably about um, unlocking heart i feel like it's loose the same people who keep picking the same piles of from my previous readings you know about opening your heart etc so i hope you enjoyed your reading i hope you liked it so if you liked so please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching so hello uh, people choosing this um, children tea can so let's see universe please channel the collective energies what's the tea on people choosing this second tea can or those children you might be healing your inner child right now or your inner child is calling you so
So yes, Ace of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, some sort of a mental clarity, knowledge, Queen of Cups, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, what's the tea on you? It feels like somebody might be wanting to um, share their emotions with you. Okay, Ten of Pen, uh, Ten of Cups. Okay, so. This person sees you as their wish fulfillment, like wife material, you know, because of you are this queen of cups, sensitive, compassionate, very loving, unconditional love. Some of you might be introverted people. Who is this person uh, wanting to communicate? Yes, this person wants new beginning. And I feel like you are entering. Oh, um, my... Ladies picking this uh, pile number three on what's coming next in love might be choosing this also. So just in case I'm... Yeah, energies are similar. So you, if you did pick that and you felt drawn to this, yes, you are definitely entering this new cycle that is gonna bring you this... your heart desires, your wish fulfillment. So you might have uh, Taurus, Leo, um, Aquarius, and Scorpio in your chart. Yes, Scorpio. Four of Wands, marriage, commitment. Yes. So positive. Two of Swords. Why two of Swords is here? Again, yeah, similar energies. Emperor and the Hanged Man. I feel like if you have a person or an interest in love... No, no, no. My intuition is telling that you had been waiting for this for too long. Okay? For this person to come to your life. It's what I, I'm feeling. Two of Cups, all about relationship, love, love, love. The tea on you is love. So, cheers. All right. Um, yeah, the answer is so crystal clear here. I don't see any heaviness. This person, um, for some of you, if you know this person, this person could have been hesitant, you know, indecisive, like conflicted in the past, but it's coming, you know, you are coming into union, you know. Uh, for some of you, it's your, um, you know, counterpart, whoever, you know, compatible partner, you know. Look how many unions we have here. Beautiful. Congratulations. Okay. So, final messages for the tea. Yeah. Uh, you guys... Alright. Some of you, some of you, might have known this person from childhood. Okay? Like, you grew from this page, from knight, and this emperor, and this queen of cups, you know. And for, like, small amount of you, I'm feeling like you already were married to this person and had children you know it's like family lineage take what resonates with you but i'm feeling like you know in general wish fulfillment is coming to you i don't see any kind of a deception you know cheating three party i don't see this so those were final messages very much you know light-hearted you know yeah, inner child healing. Ooh, inner child healing. So, you might be in the process, or if you have healed already your inner child, that's why you are attracting this uh, person to your life. And whoever is in the period of this process, on, of this healing, so it's coming to you. Energetically, it's here. So, okay. Let's see... What's the tea on people choosing this second pile, second option, second can? What's the tea on people? Mountains, stand your ground. I'm feeling like it's about stable offer, you know, grounded, um, solid offer, yes. 
uh, laying your foundation, you know, building healthy foundation, healthy relationship. Okay, so amazing. Elder, move beyond your ancestral patterns. Exactly. You see? So, it feels like if you were in this stagnant uh, period in your life in the past, it was because the universe wanted you to heal your inner child and release all those family karma, ancestral patterns. So, if you did so, congratulations, this person is coming to you. What's the T? I love this energy. What's the T? Summertime. Bask in joy and light. Amazing. So for some of you, this person might have Leo in their chart. For this four of wands also represent uh, like uh, Aries, Leo, Sag. And we have here Aries energy here. Just one more please, universe. What's the T? This summertime is going to be so joyful for you in general. Medicine Guardian, be open to healing information. So for some of you, this information is about this mental clarity or this person uh, deciding to open up to you, you know, offering this commitment, this uh, solid offer. So do I want to do so? Finally, finally, what's the tea? What's the advice? Leap. Yeah, you go first, the universe will catch you. I feel like this person is gonna take the leap of faith <laughs> towards you. Okay. So, advice from the universe. What's the tea? What's the tea? Break the chain and play, have fun. So, you will gonna uh, celebrate. Okay. You are gonna have wedding, I'm feeling like with this wedding engagement, so whatever you are level at. So dancing, playing, having fun, celebrating your love, your union. And I feel like it's gonna come to you. If you did heal and moved and broke free, broken free from your uh, this um, ancestral uh, karma, okay, if you release it. And it's gonna come to you very soon. Congratulations. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated with you. Number two, if it did so, please don't forget to like uh, and subscribe to my channel. So, and finally, not yet. So, please universe, Spill the tea on people using this telephone. Communication might be coming for you. Okay. A love offer might be coming to you and through telephone, phone call, maybe text message if this person is shallow. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so what's the tea? What's the tea? Yay, communication is coming. It might be a Scorpio, <laughs> you know. I'm sorry. It might be a Scorpio. You might be a Scorpio. Yeah, this Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy also. Uh, Aries Leo Sag. So fast communication. Again, uh, phone call, text messages. Let's see, what's the T? Yeah, because this person finds you so attractive because you are single, independent, looking good, smelling good. You know, um, what's a tea? You might be dealing with Sage. You know, let's see. It might be uh, about healing also. Like right now, there is no communication, but it's coming. The tea is that it's coming. I feel like those two are aligned together about this. You know, releasing. Maybe, you know, 9-9 nine, nine energy. In the past, you were d defensive. So you had to transform and healing have occurred or is happening to you right now. So you're becoming um, loving yourself more, feeling comfortable in your skin so that it's going to attract this Ace of Cups to your life. Let's see what's the tea. 
What's the tea? Yes, it feels like there was some sort of a mental conflict, like sabotage. I feel like just because it came under this um, Nine of Pentacles, uh, just because you are this attractive, single, independent person, some people might be envious of you and I am feeling like gossip energy also. So let's see, haters gonna hate, keep shining your light. Uh, six of Cups, soulmate connection. So for some of you it might be like somebody from past is returning back to you, Justice Libra energy. So balance will be restored. King of Cups, amazing, because this person, Cancer energy, Cancer by Scorpio, Cancer, this person has a cup to offer you, and it's genuine, I am feeling like. My people are so, like, healed, well, uh, you know, high frequency people, I'm feeling like. So, let's see, what's the tea? On my people choosing this telephone cam. What's the tea? What's the tea? Hermit, Virgo energy, Lord, Spirit, Fox. Trust your talents, uh, talents in changing times. Okay, trust the process. Um, yeah, Fox is for me is like attractive person. You know, it's here. This person might be attract attractive also, you know, embodying this handsome, beautiful um, energy. Lord, uh, take charge with authority. So this person wants to take charge, take the action and, you know, talk, open up about their feelings to you. Might have a Virgo in their chart. And as I'm remembering, yeah, even though it's like Hermit is, is uh, Virgo energy, I'm feeling like with this it makes sense, like no communication time. It was like retreat, recharge, uh, transformation period in general f for in order for you to heal, okay? So, advice from the universe. That's too many. Advice from the universe for my people choosing this telephone. Can advice from the universe. Unbound. Exactly. You see? Unbound. Transformation. Others. Um, death card. here so double confirmation about transformation it's happening for your highest good you know so let's see just one more please one more please warrior woman because you are this badass person you know you are independent I feel like it's mostly about like transforming uh, gaining your self-confidence, feeling happy, like not needing anybody in order to make you feel happy, you know. So, I hope it resonated with you. Number three, I hope you enjoyed your reading. If it did so, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching. See you.